Welcome back to the Epic Podcast. My name is Ben Wartsky. With me today is my co-host, as always, Diego Bryan. Hello, hello. And today we're bringing you an early morning podcast. It is 8.50, so I guess not oh that early. Oh my goodness. But uh, we started this... At, we started at 8 o'clock. At 8. Around, yeah. around 8. And then we've been struggling to get this working for 50 minutes. Yeah, um, so originally we had this other studio booked, which is awesome because it has like this nice lighting and everything. It's called The Studio. Mm-hmm. And, of course, their mics didn't work. Well, and one of the two mics didn't work. So we could have recorded it, just you went to middle here, Diego, which would have been all right, I guess. It <laughs> might have been better. Standard podcast. Yeah, actually. exactly. Yeah, Diego just went like, <laughs> But we decided not to do that. We gave Diego a mic. And so here we are. Uh, we're grinding. We're out here grinding. Yeah. Um, speaking Always. of grinding, Diego's grinding. Six um, tests this week. Oh, Jesus. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, so I have tests. S- six tests. It's That's crazy. It's going well so far. That's I've, good. I've, done, I've taken one. Okay, so, yeah. that's good. Almost halfway there. You've, yeah, almost. <laughs> almost halfway. That's what um, all that math does for you. Yeah, but yeah, I've been coming to the library at like 6 a.m. for the past three days in a row. That's so crazy. And I just hate sleep, apparently. So. Yeah. I mean, it's all right. I'm yeah. fine. It's right, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Just this is like a tear yeah. just rolls down your face. Yeah, yep. which really sucked because, you know, I'm emotionally unstable yesterday. Er, and I sent Ben a good night text. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was very, I was confused. It was like 10 o'clock. He's like, good night, heart. And then I didn't text him back because I didn't see it. Then he said, oh, no good night text, like two minutes later. And I was like, what? He's like, okay, I see how it is. So then I said, good night, kissy face. He's like, thank you. And then he went, I guess he went to bed. Um, I couldn't go to sleep until you said it. <laughs> I was just confused. I was like, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'll play <laughs> along with it. I'll, I'll, it's all right. Um, no, I played it off. That text was totally for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how yeah, life goes. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I also woke up at six because I went to get breakfast with my mom. We went to IHOP. And then did you really? Uh, yeah, IHOP's open twenty four seven, twenty four five maybe something like that. I don't know. Did you get IHOP here at state? Yeah, we went to the one by CVS, and then we walked up to the door, and it was locked, and we we're like, "Oh, sweet!" <laughs> and so then we like knocking on the door, and this woman came in. She said, "Hey, um, yeah, you. I mean, you guys can come in. Just know I'm the only person in the restaurant." And we're like, "What do you mean you're the only person in the restaurant?" She said, "Oh, well, no one showed up for work today. It's just me." So I can make what? your food, but it'll just like that's not my job. And we're like, no, 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 you don't have to make our food. Like it's okay. We'll just we'll go somewhere else. So then we went to Cup of Joe instead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so that's so that was interesting. Um, that's pretty good. Oh my! I just goodness. don't know. I don't know how you can't just you can't just not show up to work. I, I mean, no offense to IHOP, but I guess that is a place I could see that happening. But like just, how just, how hard could their food be to make? Come on. I don't know. I mean, eggs, pancakes, pancakes. Waffles, omelets. I mean, yes, I'm not saying it's omelets difficult could to be make. a struggle. That could be tough. I mean, that's what my mom wanted. My uh, mom was disappointed she didn't get an omelet, so so she ended up settling for like a egg sandwich or something at Cup of Joe. My bagel was okay. It was just a normal bagel, and then I got a iced mocha because you're a basic white girl. I am. I am basic, and I don't like coffee because it just like upsets my stomach. So even the mocha, I didn't even like finish it all because I know my stomach would just be upset because it's just so empty. Yeah, I had coffee for like, I don't. I'm not a coffee drinker either. But mm-hmm. yesterday I was like, I need some coffee. Did it work? Yeah, I ended up pooping my brains out like three <laughs> periods later. But like, <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> it was. I mean, it was effective. I don't know. It like. Did you you didn't drink straight coffee? I did. I drank it black. Grace. Um, Gross. Grace. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's like, coffee is like so potent with caffeine, and I like I don't really drink caffeine mm-hmm. in general. Right. So then, like, I'm not going to say it gives me anxiety, but, like, it's, like... You can feel it. You, you know like, when it's kicking in. Yeah, I'm, like, hyped up, and I don't know. Yeah, maybe I just haven't drank enough coffee. I just don't feel like I'm getting... I get, like... I don't I don't experience that normally. I don't, like, sit here and just, like, get the shakes yeah, or whatever. I, I don't just, get the shakes. It's, like, I like I feel it inside of me. <laughs> and I don't know if that's, like, I don't that's, know that's what good. caffeine I don't, feels like. <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy. I feel like that's not, that's not it's a like healthy feeling. my heart's about to have a heart attack. Right. And that's why I stay awake. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> I can't sleep. Well, that, that is uh, not good. I don't, I feel like that is a bad thing. Yeah, Definitely. so I'll continue to drink coffee. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't. I can't see a reason for you to stop drinking caffeine. Speaking of which, I was on the stairmaster the other day. This is like relates to my heart, mm. and like, I got up to like a hundred and eighty beats a minute. I don't know if that's a normal. I don't. That seems pretty quick. Doesn't the 
I don't know how accurate the stairmaster is at reading heartbeat. That's true. That's true. But I was like, holy crap! <laughs> I don't know. Ever since um, one of my friends started dating this girl who has a heart condition or had a heart condition before surgery, um, uh, her her whole thing was like she could get her heart up to. 280 beats a minute or something? 280 beats a minute? Yeah, it was something. Yeah, I think it was that, actually. That's so fast. 280 that, uh, beats a minute. and like Obviously, that's unhealthy, which is why she got yeah, so assistance she, so with it. So she had an operation done, and like now it doesn't do that. Um, what do you do? I don't even know what that oper- what is that operation. I don't know. David was saying that they like they take a tube, and they go like up your leg somehow with, like, which, yeah, not how I pictured things going at all. And, um, yeah, they just use robots to figure it out. <laughs> that is crazy. I, I, I didn't know, I didn't know that. Literally have no idea. I'm not a doctor. I, I mean, yeah. That was yeah. pretty scientific. Yeah. That, I yeah. mean, you could do the surgery now, but. Right, right. Diego just explained the entire surgery to you, so you're yes. welcome <laughs> to everyone out there who has heartbeats of 280 beats a minute. Yeah. That's, so that's insane. Ever since then, that was like two weeks ago. Ever since then, I've been like kind of monitoring my heart rate. <laughs> Because you're just scared it's going to get up to 280 beats yeah, per minute. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, if I hit that 280, I well, I think he become the Hulk. His heart beats like the opposite. His heartbeat goes like 70 beats a minute at all, all times. No, yeah, like that's what your David's. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, well David's just super in shape. But like resting, like I hit 70. That's why. I mean, I think resting heart rate. I, like bl- I mean, that's where you like. 60, I think that's like 70. the difference between like in shape and out of shape. Because like if you're resting a super low. Yeah, your resting you're like, should be low. Well, it, sh- it should be low, but like I'm saying, like. If you're if you're super in shape, then your resting heartbeat's just like super low. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't I don't know what mine is. I don't think I want to know what mine is. I'm sure mine's like three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm kidding. But I'm that'd not. be crazy. <laughs> um, let's see. So I wanted to talk about. I brought in some stories that I or I was thinking about this because we do plan for this separately. Yeah. But first thing happened this week. Um, I won in fantasy football, so. Scott, zero oh three, buddy, you got to pick it up, man. Oh my! Oh goodness. God, zero oh three, you can't be doing that. You can't be dropping games. Uh, Diego, how you going to go this week? Uh, I lost to the winless. Well, the formerly winless. Formerly winless, Tony Mancherry. Uh, his team. I like. I was doing the math, and like, even if I played all my players correctly, I didn't win. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He just had like random players go off. Like Pierre yeah. Garcon, Garcon hit. Like fifteen points or something, right? Uh, so many random things happen. Tony's team went off this week. I mean, he, yeah, he got a hundred points. And Not as so much as uh, Michael. Michael, yeah, Michael's Michael team got what went twenty crazy. or something. But yeah. I don't know. And my team just had a poor performance. <laughs> Not as poor as Jacobs. Jacobs, your team was trash this week. I'm sorry. It's two weeks in a row. Low key, oh, Jacobs God. a sleeper I, on on the calendar. On the I know calendar. some people want to see you on the calendar, Jacob. If you're listening to this, <laughs> there is there. You're like the dark horse for it, like. It, Tony is number one by far, and then Dark Horse Jacob number two, yeah, and Bradley. It's, it's kind of funny. It's it's like we don't want Scott to get on the calendar because it's just a pain in the butt to make the calendar. Right? If Scott yeah. gets on the calendar, and I'm not even sure if he knows about the calendar. Yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't know if he pays attention to the it's group the message only at all. Guy not in North Carolina, and he is currently leading the calendar hunt. Right. Well, if he wins this upcoming week, which I can't see happening, unfortunately, then. Then, then he could be back in the running for not the count. Because all I need him to do, like he can lose every game, but at the end of the season, I need him to win the two playoff games that he plays. Oh, that's right. That's because like that, truly that's that's the final loser. thing. It's not like the standings. It's because that's just a regular season. But then there's also like a little playoff for the everyone at the end. Bracket. So there's yeah. So he needs to win one game in the losers bracket, and he's good to go. Yeah. So I just I don't. Like regular season, sure. Don't win any games. That's fine. We can like ship him some players. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> At the end, just like just make sure he doesn't lose. Just make. No, nah, I won't. I won't do that. No, that's not fair. Um, but so yeah, so that's that's your little fantasy football update. I know all you guys are uh, dying to hear it. Um, two, t- two, three, three big things happened since we last spoke yeah. on the podcast. Um, two, uh, national related things and one international first international news that i want to bring up is that saudi arabian women are now allowed to drive as of two days ago which is pretty cool wow yeah like the prince or king or president someone the leader in charge of saudi arabia said 
women are not allowed to drive. Damn, he is so liberal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> Holy uh, cow. Uh, dude, I don't know what's up with that. No, but that's that's crazy that in 2017, it's like big news that a country now allowed women to drive. I thought that was interesting. I haven't like read into it and like <clears throat> if there's any specifics, but um, I was seeing that post and people were like posting the decree online. Um, I thought that was interesting. Thought I'd bring that up. So yeah, car crashes, car crashes are about to go up. Oh, like 50%. maybe. I, I mean, maybe. I because I don't know. Like they have to learn how to drive. That's like, true. I, yeah, all the women don't know how to drive. Well, I don't know. I, like I'm not literally, sure. they don't know how to drive because they couldn't. Right. Right. I mean, I, but just because they weren't legally supposed to. I mean, there's been like videos gone viral of women driving in Saudi Arabia. Just because, which is crazy that Gangsters. that's that's like a that's like a viral video is that like you Gangster. just driving a car, but I mean it's just is tough for me to believe, like I just can't think of a place that does that like I mean that's just a cool not cool but an interesting thing in the 21st century that there's still places where women are just so restricted that they 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 just now have given have been given the right to drive. I guess there's no quotes. They <laughs> Welcome work out the of the right. Stone Age, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Congratulations. What was the other news you wanted to bring up? Uh, this weekend, there was a lot of backlash um, in the NFL. There's a lot of uh, uh, turb like uh, turbulence, I guess. It's not the right word. Something like that, because there uh, players were kneeling, and um, there's like it, it, I think this weekend was like the biggest weekend for it because I, I don't know if it was before I think it was after the Thursday game before the Sunday games yeah um Trump spoke on it and he said like I don't like it I think the players should be fired who do this and because of that uh well maybe not because of that but in response um there was much, like by far the most kneeling and protesting that we've seen and there's been a lot of, it's been interesting to to see um the coverage um of like news stations like the more liberal news stations uh talk about how like this is good uh like stick it to the man i yeah. guess and while the conservative sites are more like no you can't protest the flag like you're disrespecting the military um and so it's interesting to see the back and forth on that and so some team like the steel the Pittsburgh Steelers didn't come out for the national anthem like they just like they, they didn't even give their team that like I guess the players decided that instead of kneeling during the national anthem, they just wouldn't be on the field, so there wouldn't be any like anything anything going on. Um, but they, the Steelers still made news because of that. Because because of that, and then one of their players who stood who served in the military like stood in the tunnel, and he like uh, he he stood for it, and so he like because he was the only one to do that, that got coverage, and so then he actually ended up apologizing for that action which uh again really the two different sides were like i mean two there's, left there's and so right. many sides that go with it because like <clears throat> i don't think anyone is i'd like to think that no and nobody's like against our military and like all the people who serve right for our country right but at the same time people are really unhappy with our government yeah people and people are unhappy i mean it depends on what's i mean like, i think yeah. that's the main the main issue that is brought yeah i mean i think america is just going through like a pretty divisive time i feel like the two sides are like the left and the right are just not not feeling each other right now and i maybe it's just because maybe i don't know if i'm just more plugged in i feel like i'm never really like super into politics it's never been like a huge interest of mine like i'll like pay attention to the yeah. presidential race but i'm not gonna like read all the f policy documents that any president decrees uh, but i think that's one thing about trump that is uh, makes him different than the other president. One of many things that makes him different is that, like, he, he because he's on Twitter, he's so active that you can, like, I can follow his moves or what, what he wants to put out because he's, like, tweeting, like, daily or semi-daily. So, like, when I wake up or when I get on the internet i always see his tweet so I'm, I'm always checking what he's doing and then i then i click on the tweet and i like to scroll down to the, the comments on it because I mean, they're, they're crazy <laughs> the comments are just just like i swear they're just like bots I, i've blocked a few of them i blocked like just because i i just don't like seeing the same like five people posting so i'll block people saying pro-trump stuff and anti-trump stuff just because they're annoying but it's really? interesting to me just to see. I mean, because like, the, like every time he posts, there'll be like three religious bots that just like post like six tweets that always get like hundreds of retweets. For I'm assuming that they're also all spam accounts or something. Gotcha. Um, so I just I was like I don't want to see those anymore. 
I'm done with them. And there's just like, a so you like filter people. your way through. Yeah, like, I, just, I want I want to see like actual people commenting on it. I'm just curious what people think. And uh, of course, I don't think there is something he could tweet that would make everyone happy. Like, no, because yeah. he's so polarizing. I feel the the left will always Hate just him. be no. Ma- I I don't know what he could do to make the left like even if what he did maybe was like the most like in favor of the left. I think a lot of the left would still not like it, which is something that the the right likes to bring up is saying like I don't know what. He yeah, he like... he worked with uh, what's her name, Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi, mm. something like that. Recently, she's a that was a former Democratic uh, speaker, Speaker of the House. Yeah, and I know people are like, "Wait, what? How? <laughs> this can't happen." Yeah, it's like I don't, they I, can't work together. Yeah, I like that move, but I, I don't <laughs> want to like that move. Stop making me like you. Yeah, I I totally forgot everything about it, but. I know they did do something. Hmm, interesting. Or tried to do something. We'll see. Right, right, right. I don't know. That's that's interesting. I'm, I I'm curious what that. You're definitely right about Trump being a polarizing figure, and I don't know. He brings it on himself. I'm just yeah. tired of him tweeting stupid crap all the <laughs> freaking time, and this guy's our leader. Yeah, it's, it's like it's definitely interesting. I yeah, I don't I don't understand. I feel like he's pretty. Uh, I mean, I think polarizing is a really yeah. good way to describe. And he's he's he seems pretty. It's been pretty divisive. Like. I can't think of a president, but as I said, maybe I just wasn't plugged in back when Obama was like first in office because Obama's totally different though. He was like he's so classy and like he's funny and charming and and like don't necessarily agree with all of his politics, but as a person, like he just seems like that leadership figure. Yeah. And I don't know, he was like the first time in a while since. Like, George Bush sounds so stupid. <laughs> and it could be because of his southern accent or it could be because he <laughs> mispronounced, like, every other word. <laughs> but, you know. Hey, George Bush is still just chilling. George Bush is at the – Yeah. He's just living his life. He's just doing his own thing, which is cool. Yeah. But um, what was the other – okay, was that both the that news you had? I ha- I wanted to say something else, but I, I, I'll think of it. If you had, I'd, okay. if you had something to bring up, I see um, you brought something. Yeah, I, I want to talk about – so earlier this week we went to the mall, and we spent so long at the mall, actually. Um, who cares? It was a mall experience. Mm-hmm. And I left my stuff at Ben's apartment, so I literally didn't have a wallet or my keys, mm-hmm. just my phone. Right. And then you guys were like, hey, we're seeing it. Oh, right, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. right after the mall. Right. And I was like, great, don't have my wallet. <laughs> I can't but, go home. Yeah, I can't go home. But uh, I could Uber back to <laughs> back to your apartment. <laughs> and that wouldn't work because I didn't have the keys to unlock the apartment. Right. And an Uber was $10 where I could pay $8 to watch the movie. Right. So I watched it against my will, basically. Right, right. And... It was pretty good. Yeah, you liked it. Yeah, it to, I uh, mean, a movie review. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't. know. It was one of the more scary movies I've seen for yeah. some reason. I th- I think it's just like kind of creepy. I think it's uh, I like the concept of it. I like the there wasn't like there's maybe a little too many jump scares for me. Like from personally, I like the more psychologically and like not necessarily like something like pops out on the screen to scare you, but like the actual like premise is really creepy. Um, which to this movie, I'm not saying this movie wasn't. I was creepy. about to say, yeah, I thought the movie fit under that category, like. A, um, but I, but most of the scares were not because the movie was psychologically, was psychologically disturbing scary. Or it was something. just, yeah, it was just like the movie was scary to me because, like, it's just like there's something Unexpected jumped out thing. at you and just like, um, so I mean, I, personally, I, I don't, I like the movies that can scare you without necessarily jumping out at you. But with that said, it it's interesting that this is like, um. I mean, it's been a a number, not maybe the number one bestseller for a couple weeks, four weeks, a month maybe. Really? Yeah, and that it's the first time a horror movie has done that in so ages. Long, because yeah. I mean, no, there's just no horror movies that are like that are that are j- perceived by the masses as like good enough to see. So that's that's cool. I find that interesting. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, you definitely got to see it. I would I would recommend it, even if you don't like horror movies, like. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you don't like clowns, I wouldn't see it. Uh, I but what? I don't because you, you knew nothing about the movie yeah. before going into it. So what? What would you? Would you recommend that, or would you yeah, recommend I'd, like looking up 
I don't, I don't know, know something about I'd it. I'd recommend not knowing anything. Well, you you hadn't even seen had you seen the trailer for it? No, I hadn't seen a trailer. Like, That's I, good. I don't have TV, so I didn't watch a commercial for it. Right, right. Um, yeah. So like, all the previews leading up to it were like scary, and so yeah, then yeah. like it just got you in the mood that this is gonna be scary. And I don't know if that like made me more scared of things I shouldn't have been scared <laughs> of uh, in the movie. Right. But um, I don't know. I just I didn't know anything about it. I was seeing everything for the first time, and it was hitting me like I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and so it really yeah. like it it really got to me for some reason. I'm I'm glad we did. Um, we'll talk about it later, but we did something after it that made me like forget about the movie. And so like I don't know. Oh, L- low yes, key, yes, yes. low key, considering sleeping at your apartment on the couch, <laughs> 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 so I didn't have to sleep in my dorm alone. Right, right, right. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I thought, I thought it was really, we, I, um, in one of my classes, someone brought up the movie because I don't remember why, but someone talked about like, uh, that they liked that they just threw the, the main, uh, antagonist into the movie, um, randomly. And they thought that was interesting. And I, I mean, I'll say like, I haven't really thought about it since we watched it. Like maybe like one time as I was going to sleep, I was like, man. It was quite a movie, and then I was like, "Man, why did I just think of it?" And then, <laughs> then I was just like awake. I was like, "Man, I don't want to turn around." So, but closet red balloon. Pops yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so would recommend seeing it. I I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. I thought that um, they did a great job. I like the whoever did um, Pennywise did a good job. I don't know who it oh, is, yeah. but they they were they were very very creepy. Um, and it's not if this is I, this isn't really a spoiler, but. If you've read the book, they didn't do the whole book in one movie. They've actually broken it up into two parts. Um, Diego and I heard that the the original movie is like three hours long, which is crazy. Yeah. That's way too long. So I'm curious. I'm curious what they're gonna do or exactly how they're gonna do that. But it seems like it was a good move though, because like I felt you can get like this. This story was all about when the guys were kids, mm-hmm. and like apparently he comes back when they're adults. Right. Um, Right, which but, is interesting. I, I, I'm glad. Yes, I agree. I'm glad they broke it. I still. I thought the movie was a little long, though. Like it was, when it was at the end, I was like, "All right, like let's like." Yeah, I'm, was, I'm ready to get out of here. It was kind of long, but it felt complete to me. Like, I don't know. Like, um, yeah, did you they could have def- you could have rushed some things, but like, I think the slower parts were like set up. Yeah, and that's what made it longer. I mean, yeah, that's like that's how horror movies are, though. Like, yeah. you can't just like like things wouldn't be scary if it was like no jump setup. scare, jump scare, jump yeah. scare. It'd just be like, okay, I get it now. Like, cool. But like you need that like jump scare, slow build up, fake, you know, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. I thought I mean I, there wasn't even that many like fakes really. Like whenever something seemed to be scary, it usually was scary. Like there usually was like a uh, so I guess in that way it might have been a, maybe I don't know if you felt the same way. I thought it was like a little like if something if like the music started playing in the background and there was like a build up and you're like okay in in this if I were to make this movie, I would put a scary part here. Usually there's a scary part there. And I'm not saying that made it less scary. I just felt in that way it might have been a little cliche. But I could be maybe I'm misremembering it. I don't know if you felt the same way. Uh, I remember their audio being crazy. Like that's what got me the most probably. Yeah, the audio. I was like, Oh God. Oh here it comes. Oh jeez. <laughs> ah Yeah. Diego's oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like crying, crying in the theater. Yeah. Um but overall thought, super good. Yeah, no, I thought and we, there's a, like a a pretty decent crowd in the theater, which was interesting. I mean, I thought... It was crazy, though. It was like, the movie starts in, like, seven minutes. It was just, like, us, a couple of, like, two right. other people, yeah, yeah, yeah. two other groups. And then, like, movie time, packed. Yeah, everyone <laughs> was in there. I don't know where everyone came from, but everyone's... Sca- I think that was that might be the second movie I've seen, a har- second horror movie I've seen in theaters. We saw Mama... And then this one. I think those are the only two that I've seen. Yeah, I try to not watch horror movies. Yeah, in general. <laughs> yeah, fair. just in general. But I, mean, I like horror movies, but as I said, I like the more, like, psychological. Like, I don't need all the gore. Like, I watched Saw 1 That's... a long time ago, and I thought it was, like, pretty gory. And then I heard 2 through 4 or 5, they're just, like, they just lot. killing people just for fun. Like, I mean, which I guess is kind of the premise. But, like, it's less, like interesting and it's more just what are some gruesome ways we can kill people so that right. that just that's not interesting to me so but yeah. I think I mean I don't know I I thought it was good definitely a good experience fun uh <laughs> everyone was kind of upset with me because I didn't <laughs> I didn't tell them that Kingsman also came out the day before we went to go see it and everyone would have preferred to see that but 
It's okay. It's yeah, all right. I we, think we all ended up like pretty happy we saw. I liked. It. I mean, it's saw. just something that I I wanted to see, so I would have watched it regardless at some point. It just, was a good mix up too, because like, you, you can see action movies all the time. Yeah. But, right. Yeah, it's not um, often that we all go see a horror movie because I don't think our group is not a very horror yeah. horror friendly. It's not like everyone's like, oh yes, horror movies. Like, I I'm not even like that. I'm probably I don't even know if I'm the most apt to go see a horror movie, but I yeah, know probably. Diego is pretty anti. David also pretty anti. Is he Neil like, anti? I, I couldn't tell about David. David was talking during the entire movie. David was talking during the entire movie. I, and I don't know I, if that's I like would a, also, a coping I'll mechanism. Take, I'll take some of the blame for that. He was talking to me. I was talking back sometimes. Only because I, mean, I was talked to me too. Only because I was telling them I was like I would dip out right now because there, there'd be these parts where like something would happen. They'd see something, and then I'd be like, "Oh, I'm out of there. I'm jumping through the window." And I would like I would like whisper him that. And he's like, "Yeah, you're right. I would also jump through the window." But I don't know. I feel uh, like I think my whisper is quieter, but maybe one, maybe I'm just not not. One last thing is like David and I came to an agreement that I was the kid with the cast. With the mom. <laughs> I was like, dang it, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, if so you, you got to watch the movie to see that, yeah. But like, but if you haven't seen the movie, you're probably like, what is going on? Oh, I remember what else I wanted to talk about. So, uh, completely different topic, like not even in the same genre. They are uh, earlier this week t- again, like two days ago. Um, uh, after the Saudi Arabia thing broke, there was also another breaking story that dealt that has major implications for basketball and uh, AAU uh, moving forward. I don't. Did you hear about this? I you didn't know, you hear know about, about this. this? At all, you no. did not. So it came out that um, Under Armour was paying high school kids to like wear their shoes and no. go to certain like their their brand schools and like play in their circuit what? and so like um no way. like louisville is getting like totally screwed by this which is why i don't know if you saw it. rick patino i don't has gotten fired is going to he get said fired he might lose his job i, I think it's but i i heard he, he might lose his, his job and then i heard that he is losing his job i don't i think he is i think he got fired L- really yeah Last tweet I saw was that like he talked to staff saying oh, that he might lose his job. Okay, well, that maybe, was yesterday. Maybe actually. he didn't get fired. I thought he. I thought he was gone. But I think like Louis, like it's just like whoever the NCAA. Well, it's not even the NCAA. It's like the FBI is investigating it because it's like fraud. So because like the NCAA, because of the NCAA's rules that you can't like sign high school pay- players or pay them. The like all the the Under Armour or Under Armour, Adidas had like go behind the backs of everyone and so then um wait so it's just adidas no it's, it's not it's just, all companies it's not just look, adidas is the one that has been charged with fraud currently no nike just got their letters yesterday to be subpoenaed to go to court for the same thing so i i, I can't it's not just Nike under armor or adidas. okay it's yeah. like so it's like all of them yeah just because I mean, it's it shocking. Just, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like just the really? least, least surprising news story I'd ever heard. I'm pretty sure I watched like an ESPN 30 for 30 documentary about like Jordan shoes or something like yeah. that, or like how Nike took over. Mm-hmm. They were like, Yeah, we gave them to all the high school players, right? And so they're just wearing them at a young age, like, right? Well, like, no, but it's not, it's not like that. Like, I was like hearing like, um, that uh, Adidas was like paying like certain players like hundred thousand dollars a year to like go to certain schools. High schools? Like, no, 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 colleges. Oh, so what? <laughs> so yeah, you're right. Hundred grand. Honestly, four hundred thousand dollars. Well, actually, well, depending on the how good the player is, then could just be a hundred thousand dollars. But, but no, no. Actually, I think while they're in high school, they're paying them uh, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wait, I mean, I, so what? No, that's, Literally, I, so what? I agree. Literally, don't care. The NCAA at all. is so criminal. They're so well, criminal. It's tough for the NCAA though. Why? I, because. Like the FBI is going to make it, it's going to put them in a hard spot because they're going to be like, well, these people violated your terms. What are you going to do about it? And if the NCAA just can't shut down like every school, yeah, like, like the NCAA can't be like, oh man, Louisville, Kentucky. What I, if I, this I, these is aren't like that school. changes the names. terms though? I, maybe that'd be I, if they just said we're cool with this, then that'd be fine. Then the then the FBI would be like, okay, well we have no case, but because of the NCAA's rules of like no players can make any money at all then um look if companies want to pay these players they should they should get paid I, I, agree. Like, I mean it literally means nothing to me yeah. like like cool like you got you got money to go to a school 
awesome. It uh, really does not affect me. That's I mean, yeah, you might ruin these players' lives because you're dropping huge amounts of dollars on them and then they get right. distracted from the game. But right, right. maybe. But that's it, just like survival of the fittest at that point. It's not point. like this just started last year. It's like this has been going on, yeah. I'm sure, for it's, like generations. Since the beginning of time. Yeah, so like... like Literally. It just makes sense. Like, I'm sure every company does. So, like, oh, yeah, it, it's it's going to AAU. It's like breaking news, but it's, like, not. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, as I said, it's just, like, the least surprising news that had come out. And so everyone, all the, like, the sports analysts were tweeting, like, wow, I am so surprised. <laughs> I had no idea this was happening. How did this happen? Yeah, no, I mean, that, so. Oh, At so, every school. Yeah, so, like, all the brand managers for, like, all these companies are now, like, just, like, oh, God. Like, I mean, because people are getting fired, I'm sure. As long as NC State keeps Adidas. So three three stripe life. Shout out. Um, Yeah, for real. Not trying to diss Adidas or anything. I mean, it's not a diss, like, as I said, it's not like. Like like NCAA, I guess. But but it's it's not even the NCAA is going after them because the NCAA is going after That's just crazy that it's a federal thing. I got to look into that. Yeah, you should. You should look it up. So insane. So, uh, one of our, one of the, uh, the last guests that we had on the podcast, Ian. He was the one who was like telling me about this, and he he probably wants to come on some point. He knows all about this. Like he he could talk way more than I could about this. Yeah, we should definitely get him on, um, and then we should let this develop a little bit, like a week or two. Yeah, because it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Because it's it'll be curious to see what happens to Nike, because their uh their their AAU league is like the EYBL, and I don't know what Adidas is, is but like th- it just means that uh the FBI might just shut down their circuits. So he his claim. I'm going to kind of steal his thunder. This is Ian's claim. Uh, you can check him out on our two podcasts ago. But he he says that Big Baller Brand is now going to take over the AAU circuit, which would just what? be so crazy. <laughs> uh, I, personally, I would not like that very much. That'd but be I'm, hilarious. But this, this, he like, slides in there? No, I'm saying it's. he was telling me about it, and like I could definitely see it happening because they'll just be the only – they'll be like, look, we've not colluded with anyone. We don't pay any players. Oh man, so that that's going to be an interesting That'd development. So, so keep that good. keep that in mind. Um, so, I, but as I said, least surprising development. Don't really care. I don't know what the NCAA is going to do. My prediction is nothing. I think, but the FBI might Just force them the to do so. But they can't because the FBI is now involved. So they have to like they have to punish someone. Someone is getting is, punished. Is the NCAA like? Government regulated, all? like how does I don't it? Think so. How does it work? Like how can I don't know the government force the NCAA to act? Well, they if c- it's not within legal. Well, no, because they they're charging these companies so, with fraud. That's what they're charging them with, and so they're saying like, "Hey, NCAA, here are the rules that you stated. These so schools, the FBI involved. is like charging them with fraud, but on top of that, they're tattletaling." Yes, I get. I guess so. I guess they're kind of just like, I don't know how this. I don't know what happened, but it just. Uh, I'm as I said. I'm just taking this. Is my I'm just regurgitating what Ian has shared with me, and he was just saying that like now it has just changed the game forever. Like now going forward, I don't know what's going to happen, and because any school that the FBI chooses to investigate, they can probably say like, you definitely paid got players paid to go here. Like whether the school asked for it or just the company who that school represents did it, like whatever school they want to to do, they can do, and so so, so it's just up to them. So, but but I mean the, that's why it's so tough for the uh, the NCAA is because it happens everywhere. Yeah, if it happens everywhere and you shut down like all the big schools, uh, like who's gonna that's watch? So like, much revenue, right? Gone. No, exactly. Yeah, they're just not gonna make any money, which is what everyone has an issue with them for is that they only care about making money, and so who's gonna watch like? I don't know, like a small school in like the the Sweet Sixteen. Like, who's gonna watch? Like, like Everyone's no disrespect be... to ECU, but like, who, if ECU is like the national champion because no one else is playing, like, it just would it, it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. I'm rooting for Wake Tech. In the yeah, yeah. Like if Wake Tech, like if our technical <laughs> college somehow because all these sanctions made it to the Sweet Sixteen, it'd just be like, all right, what's going on? Or like Apps basketball team again, no disrespect, but disrespect, but they're they're not very good. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah, we should definitely get Ian on to talk more about that. He, he has I, asked, I know he's like passionate about it. He's been. Twe- I've been seeing his tweets. Yeah, no, he he's he's like, talking about it. Don't really know. So what I'm he's sorry about, for so. stealing your thunder, Ian. This that was like, I don't. Maybe I shouldn't say that that's from you because I don't know what you can talk about. But I already put your name to it, so I'm gonna stick by it. So <laughs> sorry if I ruined it. 
I don't I don't think I I'm said sure any, I don't I don't think I said anything that was no terrible or but, shocked. You can read about it online. That's all I'm saying. So go go look it up if that's in, of interest to you. If not, I mean, don't back look to it our up. Uh, well yeah, back to the regularly scheduled. Podcast. Yeah, I mean, back to our favorite basketball player who oh yeah speaking who's, of basketball. who's grinding on terms on or doing things outside of the basketball. It's realm, true. It's true. Um, which is completely legit, and I'm sure he's. Followed all the incidents. I, I am positive he has. <laughs> he's an upstanding citizen. This yeah. man. Um, Hopefully he'll come on again. Yeah. Because he's just no. our first three-time guest, four-time guest. I don't know. He's been on a couple times. He's good. Malika Boo. Talking about Malika Boo. Yes. Yeah. So like after after we saw it, Ben mm-hmm. gets a text. It's like midnight. Yeah. Well, I got a text wall like after we were in the movie. Like halfway through the movie, I got a text from him. Which is weird because he usually doesn't text me. He's pretty bad about that, actually. <laughs> usually, if I want to get in contact with him, I'll Snapchat him. So that's the way to get in contact with him. Uh, I don't think. Again, I don't think that's poor to say. It just no, yeah. whenever I need to talk to him, he's I'll a be busy like, man. Yeah, he's 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 grinding. <laughs> he's grinding, as as you'll see in a second. So he texts me. He's like, "Hey, what are you doing?" I said, "Oh, no, sorry." I text him like two hours later because the movie's so long. <laughs> and that, it was at like, as Diego said, it was at like midnight. And I was like, "Hey, just got out of a movie." He's like, "Oh, cool. Uh, I just want to see if you wanted to film something." And I was like, "I mean, it, I don't." It was like a Thursday, maybe or like a Wednesday. Saturday. It was a Saturday. Okay, it was a Saturday, so that's why we were out that late. Yeah. And um, I said, oh, yeah, no, I'm down to film. Um, what's up? He's like, oh, we'll just come to come to my place, and we'll film something. So then I, I was I was going to take Diego back, and then Diego's like, no, no, I'll come with you. I want to I wanna help out. And it's actually good that yeah, Diego it came. it totally worked out. Yeah, it was, it was definitely much, much easier uh, with Diego's help. Yeah. And so we, we filmed a little uh, – a little video. music video for him um, with an unreleased song. I don't know when it's going to come out, um, but keep be on the lookout. He has an album dropping, should be sometime. He always keep, keeps telling me that it's being... He said he October. Had. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I, I hope I hope it drops. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm sure he'll plug it whenever he comes on next. But the music video turned out well. We were just like... <laughs> it was shot in one night, uh, probably like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, we had one camera, no tripod. No yeah. real plan. We just kind of showed up. He was like, "All right, here's the song. Uh, let's just film something. Let's film something." And we're like, <laughs> "Okay, well, what do we have? We have uh, two, three guys, one, one camera, camera <laughs> and a car. So we just, uh, yeah, we filmed them in the parking deck. And then we were like riding around. At one point, I was driving the car. Diego was on the hood of the car, filming through the windshield towards <laughs> us, kind of like how the camera is set up right now, right? Like yeah. facing towards us. Um, it was weird though, because I had to hold the camera with my left hand, <laughs> and then I had to have the my right my right hand behind my back so it wouldn't get in frame. <laughs> right, and then I also wasn't trying to throw Diego off the car, so we we were I mean we were rolling pretty slowly, but I just wasn't trying to ro- run over him. Yeah, and, but at the same time, I didn't realize that I was in the shot. So like the first like, you don't see it in the video, but in the first thirty seconds of that shot i'm like just like straight face just like trying to and he's like yeah and he's just like you can dance and so then oh god my dancing is just so uncomfortable like that's just why i don't dance like i, I watched the video back and i was like oh no stop um so so instead of just putting me dancing i just like overlaid another video so there's more going on so hilarious when oh, you did that god. it's just like Oh, I just did not like that at all. I mean, all. It, you weren't expecting it for sure. Right, yeah. He's just like, dance. And so then... I, I it was I, so thrown together. Yeah, like, I, I didn't know what the song... I, I didn't know any of the words. I couldn't mouth them. So I was like... He would say, like... You're like... He was, he was like, shoot or shoot. And then, like, three seconds later, I'd be like, blah, 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 <laughs> or whatever. And it just... <laughs> there's a reason I don't dance. There's a reason I film and am not in I front of the camera. I think it's normally better than that, though. Like, if you, if you, like, know the song, you can jam out right, to yeah, it Right, yeah, I real, can jam not a little just, bit. Like, I mean, it's just, like, randomly thrown uh, together. It's just, like, halfway through, you're yeah, like, dance, you definitely had to know dance, you're, you're in the shot. And I was like... <laughs> Oh, and I just re- like the whole while while I was dancing, my face—I did not smile one time. And I was like, I just did—I look so unhappy. <laughs> it's just—it was just like straight face dancing. I was just like, mm, mm. I was—I was just watching it back. I was just cringing the whole time. I was like, now I you can't. gotta practice your dance. Moves. I know, I know. I did, just me and Malik. We just gotta dance together in the car. In the car, we just gotta just like jam out. We're just gonna like, oh. it's just—I just can't dance. Just should never be dancing at all. <laughs> it was all. pretty good. Yeah. So that, I that thought happened. It was good. We were like. At one point, Diego was driving, and um, Malik and I were sitting out opposite, like Diego or 
Yeah. Malik was sitting on top, like not on top of the car. He's like sitting, sitting on the windowsill. Yeah, like, on the windowsill, in the looking car. over the car. And then I was in the back driver's side window. We were like, I was filming him rapping as we were driving around the parking deck. And there's like people in their cars watching us, which I'm sure it looked pretty weird. <laughs> Just, yeah, a couple I, people recognize him, which I wish we got that on film. Right. Well, then, then uh, at the end, impromptu, we stopped at a gas station because he wanted snacks. I needed gas, and so then uh, I was like, Diego, go, go film him inside. <laughs> so then. Um, Diego got a good shot of him walking into the gas station, which I ended up using as the opening shot because I thought it was cool. Yeah. Looked good. I think the video turned out well. I, I think. <laughs> and so then Diego like runs inside after him, and he's like picking up like snacks around the store as he's like listening to his song, and he's and like rapping. dancing, and then um, looks so good too. Like, like he's, I mean, he's like kind of a professional as far as like not being nervous in front of the camera. Yeah. And especially like in the gas station. Like, right. He just didn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, mean, uh, I, just, I wish we had gotten more shots of him doing like in various places. But I, actually, I think it worked out really well. Yeah, I, yeah. I I thought the video turned out fine. The whole um, scene kind of like, for the most part, it all like looked like it was shot somewhat s- similarly. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, mean, I mean, because it was. But yeah, like the handheld stuff didn't look terrible. terrible. No. Like, of course, I would always like Our, better equipment, but it's okay. We just we we had to work with what we had. I think the biggest thing it's not it's not the camera, drones. Drones, drones are the biggest drones, thing. That's what we drones need. can change your life. <laughs> you can get some crazy shot. You could get that uh, that shot through the windshield with the drone. Right, right. Like there's so many shots you can. I was just thinking about. it. I was like, holy cow. Yeah, drones I mean, I only really know, I don't, change the I don't game. I don't know anyone with a drone. Like readily accessible. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's it's, an issue. It's, it's I want a drone. It's an expensive want... buy for sure. And like, <sighs> yeah, there's I mean there's certain lenses you can get that are better for night. Mm-hmm. Uh, certain ca- cameras you can get. Yeah, cameras you can definitely. I get. Mean, it's just I mean, ugh. it's just expensive. I wish I wish video stuff was not as expensive. <clears> as <throat> like I'm looking to get like, like lighting. I want to get like a lighting kit, and that's like, one fifty to two hundred dollars for like a nice lighting kit. I'm looking to get that. I want to get a stabilizer that's like a thousand dollars. I'm looking to get a drone that's a thousand dollars. I'm looking to get a body that's two thousand dollars. I'm looking to get lenses and adapters and that's like eight hundred dollars memory card. I mean, there's so much stuff. Yeah. And I, as I was, I was telling Diego, like that's kind of that's one of like the things that I need to get over is like, you can always get better stuff, and I just gotta not blame the stuff for why I can't do something versus instead of just like shooting it like yeah that I mean, mean like we we could we could make we I can make something and like it'll be it'll be good but I'm always I personally I'm always like man that could have been so much better if I had this or that and I think you just got to I think a lot of it comes from habit. experience though cuz like one you definitely got to keep the, just the camera rolling like when I was filming uh our road trip the the videos get so much better like the footage i get gets yeah. so much better once i like record like 10 days in a row like 12 days in a row and like right. i start thinking about like okay this is a setup shot i want this is us going to be hiking around a bend mm-hmm. and stuff like that like there's so many setup shots you can think of when you have experience in like the type of thing you're filming yeah i mean yeah and i mean it also helps when you're not impromptu filming yeah. a music video <laughs> as you said exactly. earlier when if we if we just had like if i was like all right we're shooting a video tonight here's the plan here, I know what the song can, is like, ahead of time, first of all. That would be nice if, yeah. if I can get the song ahead of time so I can listen to it at least one time. So I'm like, okay, yeah. here's something he mentions in the song. Let's match that with an action or a place that, yeah, that like, I know we have. You can like brainstorm the music video that's like more complete. Right, instead um, of just like, oh, here's a gas station. <laughs> But the the lady was cool though at the gas station. Yeah, like I thought honestly, I like how it ended a lot when you put that in there. Yeah, the I, I mean, it just it just reminded me of like how the how like a lot of songs end with like a little like Real dialogue. Or, yeah. Like I think of um, swimming pools. I think where they're like in the car, and then someone gets shot. Maybe yeah. that's swimming pools. I think that is swimming pools. Something like that, where he's like, "That you shot my friend." Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what song that is, but I, that's that's like what I think of when I think of that um, that kind of thing. Absolutely, yeah. It was but that was cool. So thank you, Malik, for allowing us to do that. You're also welcome for making you that. So I guess <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a Both thank ways. you, but you're welcome. Um, yeah, it ended up being a really cool night because of that, and that was so good because I wasn't scared of the movie <laughs> after. <laughs> Just weren't thinking about it. Yeah, because it was like one thirty when we finished or right. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I know it was great. You got that video edited super quickly. I edited too. it the next day instead of doing work because editing videos is fun. Right. And I just was like, might as well knock it out. I didn't think it would take very long to make. It didn't take very long to make. Like, 
all I because there wasn't like I could have put more effects in it. I probably will try and do more. I'm, I'm at, it's, it's just all about time, just how much time you want to put into it. Did you send it to him? Yeah, he, yeah. he liked it. He said this is awesome. Yeah, I don't know when he's gonna drop it. I'm sure we'll. He's holding on we'll to a bunch to of stuff. Right yeah, now. he says yeah. so. Hopefully, we get to film more often. He told me he was down to film, so be on yeah. the lookout. Maybe, maybe I'll drop some teasers on Twitter or something. Just about if he if he wants me to, if he allows me to do that, right? Then I'll definitely I'll definitely drop some of the stuff that we're making, uh, some of the behind the scenes. Um, yeah, so I, that's 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 something that's going on. Is there anything else that I can think of that's going on? Um, the only other thing that oh, like, uh, it actually involves you is like oh. I don't know if. Your girlfriend mm-hmm. turned twenty one. She did. That is true. And Happy birthday, Mary Dare. And I don't. Okay, I didn't know if you want to like mention her name or not. But uh, how has that been? Because I know you've gone to a couple of restaurants with her, and like yeah, I mean it's just it was weird because when she on her twenty first birthday we went out to dinner with her family. Well, first when like in the morning uh, we went to breakfast, and then um, after class we went shopping because she wanted some earrings for for uh, for at night. Uh, when we when we're gonna go out to dinner, and so then while while we were there, I was like, well, let's go to let's let's go to Harris Teeter. Let's let's make your first like <laughs> alcohol run. And she's like, oh, I don't I don't know what to get. And I was like, I don't know, just like get some wine or something. <laughs> so so then she got some like pink wine, and like she walked up to the register like all nervous to buy it, and then the cashier like didn't even card her, and then <laughs> it was just so anticlimactic. And she was like, no no, can you please guard me? <laughs> Uh, and the cashier's like, "What? What are you talking about?" And she's like, "It's my birthday." And so she like, she like pulls out her card, and the cashier like looks at it and gives it back. It was just, it was just funny. It was just like, it's just totally, totally what should have happened there. It's just, just like, that's so <laughs> it's, I good. mean, that's just, that's just, that's just what would happen to her. It, it's just funny. That's um, hilarious. And then, then we went out to dinner that night with her parents and or with her mom. And um, I think her mom told the. Uh, the waiter to card her because like we, we like she like ordered something and then um he's like well can i see your car it was like very dramatic it was just like yeah. can i see your card and she's like <laughs> yes um so she she like gave him her card and then she got like i don't know what she got i think wine again but and then the next night we went out to beer garden with her her dad and that was good she got a plum beer or something but i mean it's, it's not like super exciting uh but i mean this is the time like now this year is when everyone's going to turn 21 except you except me i am very young <laughs> oh i'll have to wait i'm almost 20 i'm getting there <laughs> i'll be there i'll be there at some point um when people find that out and they, they're like they're like really are you what are you doing what do you mean you're 19 so that's crazy i'm almost out of the teens i'm getting there i'm grinding it feels so great to be out of the teens. Oh yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, is it is it really that different? I, I feel like it's not that no. different. <laughs> um, this Sunday is uh, Zach's birthday, so happy birthday, Zach! I don't think you listen to these, but happy birthday! I know you're doing something. Oh man, I hope he gets a win then. <laughs> I hope he gets a win. Yeah, <laughs> be Ben Nelson. Be Ben Nelson. I also hope he wins. <laughs> uh, just for the record, I think. Just because Ben Nelson, when I just don't like, I don't want anyone to be undefeated. I I don't want anyone to be winless except if it's Tony, and I don't want anyone to be undefeated. Ben Nelson's my rival. Is he? I've declared it right you've now. De- you've declared it. All right. <laughs> I don't well. know why. I don't know him at all. Right. But like, he's like the most hated on in the yeah. Group, he yeah, he definitely he definitely is the uh, he he gets he gets a lot of crap. And he's uh, winning, which he, is crazy. I, I thought he sucked at the league, but like. No, he's, he's the a, best he, right he's now. He's a genius. Yeah, he's that's a what he is. Well, it's because someone is stupid, yeah. and that's me. Um, <laughs> but we talked about that last time. Well, uh, I'll keep you updated. Kareem Hunt, what a guy! I hope he doesn't keep this doing this well, and I hope Julio Jones gets a touchdown at some point. That's all I'll say about that because we right. already talked about fantasy football. But um, I hope yeah. I hope that continues. Yeah, shorter episode today, but like a lot of chaos before the setup, and it's it's, it's kind of thrown together. We're on, we're stupid. on a time crunch now, I but mean, yeah, yeah, because we're doing this pre-class, and I gotta gotta get to class. Diego has like three tests, as we mentioned before. I got a test today that I need yeah. to study for. Um, but but consistent content, right? That's, okay, that's right. But we're not not quality over quantity, or wait, no quality over quantity. But we're still gonna try and give you one to two a week. More, yeah. more just us podcasts. Um, <clears throat> epic. I have epic some trips brand. coming up too, or like a trip for sure coming up. So that'd be good content Next to talk week. about. Yeah. Um, Are you for sure doing that? Yeah, and so that should be fun to talk about. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. 
trying to live life to the fullest, live uh-huh. the adventure, right, and just get good more or good more. Yeah, good yeah, more. Get good more. Content. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should take an English class. Yeah, yeah, Diego needs to take that English class. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just trying to like live life and like be interesting. So then <clears throat> we can talk about things on here. Right. That's the only and reason to do it. No other reason. Just. Just uh, yeah, only for the podcast. Right, 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 to, to right. To be interesting. Well, hopefully, we'll hopefully we'll get a guest back on here sometime. We'll get a guest when we're not like we could not fit a guest in the space that we're currently in. No. Um, yeah, but when like, we get when we actually get that other setup work in, you'll see us. We'll, we'll, there's lighting in there, so be prepared for that. Yeah, we'll look there's super professional. Also, a green screen, which could be something we mess with, which is crazy. I don't know what we'd do with it, but yes, we could mess with it. It I just. Looks like we're in Europe, right on top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, there you go. That'll look great. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm 100 percent sure that'll look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious. But uh, uh, yeah, so we're just figuring things out. Uh, I think as you're hearing this, this is one of our stored ones, and I think we're gonna try to compile. We talked about it a little bit, but like compile like five episodes. I don't remember this. Hold but on to them. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. I don't know when this will be Maybe coming out. So I guess head. all this. All the stuff that we're talking about might be old news for you, but yeah, but it's it's a timestamp. Yeah, sure. it tells you when we recorded this. And then, I guess if that's good, I don't know if that's good. Maybe that's bad. As but, we like actually figure out our setup, because like, oh yeah, I don't I don't know three, what our season three episode two. Yeah, in the books. This is uh, we're developing it. Oh, I shouldn't say episode two. Season three, that's it. <laughs> it is episode two. Well, yeah, but I don't know if these are gonna be released in order. I don't know. Uh, what's it. Whatever. Season th- we'll call this episode two. <laughs> yeah, sure. we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll stick with it. I'll timestamp that or uh, put yeah. that label on it. But yeah, uh, so we're figuring out our setup because like we're messing around with like actual studios, but and we just got to figure out a schedule for us to record because as I said, we're gonna try and do this weekly or uh, twice a week. And we're busy, um, and we're we're trying to get certain types of guests on right. as well who yep. like have time sensitive things. So uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, oh, we're, we're we're just we're getting it to you. We're we're gonna we're gonna be putting some putting some content out there. Content into your ears. So Yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Ear bleeding uh, is gonna happen for sure. But e- ear what? <laughs> bleeding. Ear bleeding? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> but remember you can check us out on the web at www.epochhq.com slash podcast. You can also check us out on iTunes, YouTube and Twitter. Twitter. Instagram. Instagram. Um yes. hopefully we'll be posting on some of those. Well, definitely iTunes and <clears throat> YouTube. Yeah. Uh, hopefully more often social on media. We'll social be media. Worked. Yeah, we we got to be getting into that. I mean, that's just how we get people to listen to this is we like follow 10,000 people and then hope that some of them follow us back. <clears throat> yeah. But um so we're going to hopefully be being being more active on social media. Um hopefully we can do some more uh maybe wait, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll figure that out. Uh, I don't know what the exact schedule is. I don't know if we have a day that we're releasing these on, if we're just going to say once or twice a week, hopefully around the same times, once we get everything, as Diego mentioned Set earlier, up. just figured out. Uh, make sure to rate us on iTunes, like us on YouTube, comment. If you Leave think, reviews. If you know someone that has a good story to tell, has an epic, or... It's just uh, fun to talk to. It's fun to talk to. Just send us an email. Um, it's on our website, contact page. We're we're checking that every now and then. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have sent us an email, I should probably check that. There wasn't anything yesterday. Okay. Well, perfect. As long as one of us is checking it, then we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional. Yeah, she's a professional. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, but, yeah, so, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>